Hey, it's me Mark, and this is just a quick video to show you the difference between a webcam and a DSLR. So, of course, you can film everything with your webcam, it's no problem, as long as you get it out there, right? Because the most important thing is actually the quality of your training, um, what you're teaching, and what it can give your audience or your client. But if you do want better quality, if you want um, better, like, professional quality, because you're probably selling a professional service, probably at more than 100 bucks, right? So if you are charging more, then you'll probably want better quality too. Let me just show you the difference between a webcam and a DSLR. So at the moment, I'm using my um, my DSLR. And if I switch to my webcam, it looks like this. So this is the built-in webcam from a $3,000 um, MacBook Pro. <laughs> and it's, yeah, this is what a $3,000 webcam looks like. And let's compare it to a 500 euro, 500 euro web um, DSLR. So this is a 500 euro DSLR with a hundred dollar lens. So, okay, so that's uh, like $600, $600, right? And if you add all the other extras, you might come up to, it might get up to like uh, 800, 800 to $1,000, but this is the quality you get, right? In comparison to like a $3,000 webcam or actually $3,000 laptop and the webcam. So just, uh, I don't know, like if you're selling an online course or, or a product for like, let's just say $1,000, do you want that your quality to be like this? Is this the like one thousand dollar product or is this the one thousand dollar product? I mean, you gotta you gotta make a choice here. But it's okay. You can actually you can sell you can sell your course with this quality too, no problem. Um, it look great um, somehow, and you can as long as it sounds great. Like if you have a, like a professional microphone or the built-in microphones on your MacBook are pretty good too. Let me just switch to a built-in microphone. So this is what a built-in microphone for your MacBook sounds like, and I I do recommend those. They're really cool, unless you're like typing. So if you start to, start to type, then you can hear like all the um, typing noises. So that's like a big problem. But if I switch to the other microphone, like let's switch to this one over here. Now if I'm typing, so I'm pressing the buttons. You can't hear you can't hear the typing noise because this gets rid of gets rid of all the background noise. And even if my wife and daughter are watching a film on the room, like next next nearby, right? I can't you can't hear like the the movie or them talking in this microphone because I'm using a professional microphone. Okay, but it doesn't have to be that expensive, right? So this whole setup over here is like a hundred, uh, like under one thousand um, dollars, except for the um, laptop, of course. And uh, this setup is just using like the built-in tools, like using um, the built-in laptop um, webcam, right? But also using this more professional microphone, let's just switch to the laptop microphone again. Okay, this is laptop microphone. It's not all that bad. But if you compare it to the microphone in the camera, which some people use, right, um, then it would sound like this. So this is the microphone in the camera. It sounds a lot different, right? And uh, let's switch back to the professional microphone again. This one over here. And um, this is a professional microphone, so it sounds a lot different. Okay, so these are these are the differences between using um, a webcam and a DSLR. Uh, DSLR with a hundred dollar lens. Okay, um, and uh, so you can like see the difference. So if you have need help with this, uh, if you um, want to get my help specifically on setting up your home studio, so you don't have to go through an online course or you don't have to like um, look for answers online, go ahead and book a call with me. Thirty minute call, fifty minute call. Um, whenever you have time using my calendar link down below and link in the comments or actually in the description and uh, I'll see you there and then I'll let you know like um, if and how I can help you best. Well, the first thing we're going to be doing on the call is going to like figure out where you are at the moment, where you want to be and if I can help you get there. So I hope to see you soon and uh, if this was helpful, go ahead and share it with a friend or um, yeah, hope to see you soon. Take care and bye-bye.